Welcome to another Photoshop tutorial by Pixel and Bracket. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a neat gradient pattern background. We will be using both Illustrator and Photoshop, but if you only have access to Photoshop, you can download all the source files in the description below and skip through the Illustrator section. Let's begin by opening up a new document in Illustrator. Select the Ellipse tool from the toolbar and create a circle on the artboard. Make sure the shape is selected and find the gradient window on the right. If you don't see this tab, you can also use the shortcut key Command plus F9. Be sure that Radial is selected under Type and click on the gradient thumbnail to apply a gradient to our circle. Now select the gradient tool from our toolbar and then click and drag to place the darkest part of the gradient at the top, moving down to the lightest at the bottom. If these colors are reversed for you, just change their positions in the gradient window. Now let's switch back to the Move tool and duplicate our circle. Hold Shift and Option while dragging the shape out to the right. Keep the edges of the circles touching and let go to place it. Use the shortcut key Command D to quickly duplicate the shapes across the artboard. Next, select the entire row and hold Option to duplicate all these shapes down and 45 degrees to the right. Make sure that the centers align and place the second row. Select all the shapes and hold Option and Shift to duplicate the two rows again. Drag the selection down until the new top row aligns with the center of the bottom row. Use Command plus D again to quickly fill in the rest of the artboard. Now that we have our pattern created, you can either copy and paste it into Photoshop or save an EPS to embed later. That's it for the Illustrator portion of this tutorial. I'm going to use Command Tab to switch over to Photoshop where I have our source background image opened up. While using the gradient tool in Photoshop gives us consistent results, I found that using a real image can bring a little more character to our fades. In this case, I'm using a neat sunset illustration from DeviantArt. The first thing I'm going to do is apply a Gaussian blur to the image. Navigate to the filter dropdown, find blur, and select Gaussian blur. With this image size, using a blur of 500 pixels turns it into a nice gradient. That will vary depending on what source imagery you're using. Next, we need to bring in our pattern we created in Illustrator. In the File menu, select Place Embedded and find the Circle Pattern EPS file. It's going to come in a little smaller than our canvas, but all we need to do is grab a corner and hold Shift and Option to scale it up proportionately from the center. I'm also going to add a negative 15 degree rotation and finish scaling it up so that all of the edges of our canvas are covered. Just hit enter to place the texture. The next thing we want to do is invert the colors of our pattern layer. The darker areas of the pattern will become the highlights, which will add tons of depth to the image. Select the image dropdown, find adjustments, and then select invert. You can also use the shortcut key command I. We could apply this inverse gradient in Illustrator, but I think it makes it a lot harder to tell where the hotspot is on our original shape, and it's really easy to make that change in Photoshop. Let's also add a noise filter to give the texture a more tactile feel. Navigate to the filter dropdown again, find noise, and select add noise. In the example here, I'm going to go with 5% and keep Gaussian and monochromatic selected. I wouldn't go too overboard with this option, but play with the settings to find out what works best for your project. All that's left now is to adjust our blending modes and color options to finalize our image. For a more subtle look, I would recommend going with the Vivid Light blending mode and pulling the fill back to 40% to 60%. If you want the shapes to pop a little more, select the Linear Light blending mode. I'm going to set the fill to 40% now and add a Curves adjustment layer. By simply adding a point in the center of the graph and dragging it down a little, you'll notice it deepening up the shadows and colors. Add a hue and saturation adjustment layer and set saturation to 25 to bring out that color a little more. I hope this helped you guys out. There's tons of cool backgrounds and patterns you can make using this technique. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to check out some of these related tutorials.